the previous video on probability and in the previous video i have shared about like terms experiment event outcome sample space and we have seen various experiments like tossing a coin tossing a pair of coins and then we studied about rolling a die rolling a pair of dice and we have seen how many outcomes are possible in all these trial of experiments today we are going to study about pack of cards i hope you have seen the deck of cards and we will be studying how in a pack of cards we can find probability of certain specific events now you know that what is probability so probability is a branch of mathematics which deals with finding how likely an event can occur so here we study about certainty of an event occurrence of an event now let me take you to the slides and today we are going to study more about pack of cards and doing problem solving related to playing cards or deck deck of cards or pack of cards now observe that here the cards are depicted and you see that there are four rows first row second row third row and fourth row in the first row observe that there are 13 cards 1 2 3 and it goes up to then 10 11 12 13 and now observe that in each row there are 13 cards so there are total 52 cards in a deck of cards point number 2 the first row observe this symbol this symbol is clubs we call it as clubs c l u b card of club so there are 13 cards of club and this is called suit s u i t so in a deck of card there are four suits first is club it is black in color second is observe this symbol this is spade s p a d e so there are 13 cards of spade bearing the same symbol. okay so there are 13 cards of spade in a deck of cards now observe the third symbol this symbol is ca called hearts so now you tell me how many cards are there of hearts bearing this sign there are again 13 such cards but interestingly note that the heart cards are red in color now observe this fourth one it is diamond d i a m o n d so there are 13 cards of diamond they are also red in color so notice that in a deck of cards total number of cards is 52 there are four suits clubs spades hearts and diamond and in each suit we have 13 cards okay now observe how the number 1 is depicted it is depicted by the by the alphabet a and we call it as a card what do we call it as a card how many a cards are there tell me there are four a cards 
how many black ace cards are there so there are two black ace cards how many red ace cards are there there are two red ace cards okay now tell me about the cards which are there in the end what do you notice yes here we notice that on the cards alphabets are written j q and k j means jack q queen and k king so there are four jack cards bearing picture and four queen cards again having a picture on each card and four king cards again having a picture of king so you see that all these 12 cards have a picture on it and these cards are called as face cards please note down this vocabulary so now i'm i'm going to ask now how many face cards are there so you will be answering there are 12 face cards remember one thing ace is not a face card sometimes you know people they think that here alphabet a is written so they count this ace in the face cards but remember ace is not a face card it is a number card so if i ask you how many number cards are there one to ten in each suit so there are four suits so 40 number cards are there and 12 face cards are there so 40 plus 12 gives us 52 cards i hope up to this the concept of playing cards is clear so i am repeating number one total number of cards 52 four suits are there the name club spades hearts and diamond in each suit we have 13 cards two suits that is club and spade are black in color so how many black cards are there 26 how many red cards are there 26 because heart and diamond suit they bear red color now how many face cards are there 12 okay so till this i hope the information is clear so on the basis of uh, this uh, knowledge we are going to deal with problems based on uh, playing cards or deck of cards so let us uh, start solving the questions so here we have well, let me now move to the next slide i hope you have noted this information moving on further okay let us take some questions now a card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of cards find the probability of getting three of spades see how you are going to do such questions step one is we are going to write down total number of outcomes total number of outcomes meaning the total possible number of cards that is 52 favorable outcome meaning we need to see the event so here the event is getting three of spades so there is only one three of spades so total number of favorable outcomes will be one now we are going to write down the formula for getting probability so probability of getting three of spades by using the formula number of favorable outcomes upon total number of possible outcomes we get the answer as one upon 52 and notice that one upon 52 is less than one so i'm going to talk about the probability 
like probability of an event it lies between 0 and 1 yes it can be 0 when you know there is a uh, an event which is not possible so you know the there is no favor favorable outcome and then in that case the probability of that event will be zero event is possible but uh, the favorable outcome is missing so when there is no favorable outcome the probability of that event is zero the probability of an event can be one also when it will be one when every time you are able to get the answer now i will be taking such examples also so here you observe that probability of an event lies between 0 and 1 it can be equal to 0 and it can be equal to 1 but it cannot be more than 1 or less than 0 so that you have to be very careful okay move on to the next question so let me duplicate this slide and i'm just changing the question so a card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of cards find the probability of getting a king card now you are going to answer me the total number of outcomes is 52 number of favorable outcomes now you tell me we need to get a king card so how many king cards are there yes it is four the probability is number of favorable outcomes upon total number of possible outcomes so what will be the answer probability of getting a king card is equal to 4 upon 52 can you simplify this that is 1 upon 13 right okay let us take one more example now the third question is a card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of cards find the probability of a face card now you tell me how you are going to do this total number of outcomes 52 number of favorable outcomes that is face cards you tell me how many face cards are there yes we, we have done this so number of face cards is 12 the so probability of getting a face card is equal to 12 upon 52 so what is the answer 12 upon 52 simplify and you will get the answer tell me the answer okay let us simplify 2 6 are 12 divided by 26 which is equal to we can again simplify this then uh, two threes are six upon 12 upon 13 three upon 13 okay you can cancel directly also so answer is coming out to be three upon 13 okay let me take one more question a card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of cards find the probability okay this is the fourth one of getting a red card very simple total number of outcomes 52 Number of favorable outcomes, that means you need to write down here red card. How many total red cards are there? Yes, tell me fast. Yes, you are right. It is 26. So what is the probability of getting a red card? It will be equal to 26 upon 52. That is 1 upon 2. Simple. 
So answer is 1 by 2. Interesting. Okay, now you can make questions of your own also. So you have the information related to cards. You can make as many questions. Okay, let us make one more question. A card is drawn from a well-shuffled pack of cards. Find the probability of getting a card of clubs. Yes, total number of outcomes, 52. Number of favorable outcomes. Okay, tell me how many club cards are there. Club is one suit. What is the color? That is black. So how many cards are there in each suit? That is 13. So what is the probability of getting a club card? That will be 13 upon 52. So you can simplify. Answer is 1 by 4. Isn't it? So this is how we can easily do questions related to pack of cards. Now I am making a twist. So let me change the question. I am writing here. Jack, Queen and King cards are removed from a pack of cards. So you tell me. Okay. Let me just change the size. Okay. Jack, Queen and King cards are removed from a pack of cards. A card is drawn from a well-shuffled pack of cards. You know, when the Jack, Queen and King cards are removed, so tell me the probability of getting club cards, card of clubs. Let us do this one. So when the Jack, Queen and King cards are removed, that means all face cards are removed. So how many face cards are there? That means 12 cards are removed. So total number of outcomes will be 52 minus 12. Please note this point. You have to be very careful. So 52 minus 12, that means now we have to find the probability out of 40 cards. Now, number of favorable outcomes, that is club cards. In this case, you tell me how many club cards will be there. So, jack of club, queen of club, and king of club are also removed. So, that means out of 13 club cards, only 10 will be there. So, what is the probability of getting a club cards in this situation? It will be... 10 divided by 40. See, you have to be very alert. Answer is again 1 by 4. But you need to write down here what will be the total number of outcomes. When you remove jack, queen and king cards, you are left with 40 cards. So here you need to write down in the bracket as the jack, Queen and King cards are removed. So we are left with 40 cards. The number of favorable outcomes is 10. So we've, we have found the probability of getting a club card that is 10 by 40, which is 1 by 4. Interesting. Okay, let us do one more question. So I'm duplicating this now. So jack, queen, and king cards are removed from a pack of cards. Let me take this question only, but we will take another event. So a card is drawn from uh, the well-shuffled pack of remaining cards. Let me add one more word here. So remaining cards 
find the probability of getting now the question is a red card now you tell me tell me fast total number of outcomes 52 minus 12 that is 40 perfectly fine you need write down the reason because the jack, queen, and king cards are removed. Now tell me how many red cards will be there? Earlier there are 26 red cards. That includes two jacks, two queens, and two kings. Now tell me how many red cards will be there? Yes, red cards will be 20. So 10 cards of uh, hearts and 10 cards of diamonds. So what is the probability of getting a red card then? It will be 20 divided by 40, which is equal to 1 by 2. I hope it is clear to all of you. So see, we can make any number of questions. And we can frame our own questions. Idea is to understand the concept. So I hope uh, you have understood about the playing cards or deck of cards and how we can get questions based on specific events related to playing cards or deck of cards. Practice more questions and uh, have a nice day. And keep uh, learning mathematics creatively. And, you know, you need to learn how to frame questions of your own. Only then you will be able to express the knowledge gained. So have a nice day. Bye-bye. Take care.